Carrie Joseph was born in New Iberia, Louisiana on October 4, 1973. His journey into football began at age nine when a good friend and his dad introduced Kerry to organized flag football, where Kerry played as both a quarterback and punter. In 1992, Kerry joined the McNeese State University football program. During his three years as a starter at MSU, the Cowboys won 41 games and three Southland Conference championships. In 1992, Kerry led the football program to its first ever playoff victory and in 1995 to its first national semifinal appearance. That same year, he was named the Southland Conference and Louisiana Player of the Year after leading the Cowboys to a 13-1 record and a number one ranking for most of the season. Joseph under center drops back to pass. Carries 7,874 career passing yards and 9,676 career total offensive yards ranks him second in the McNeese State University record book. Carey continues to hold the school's career record of 67 touchdown passes. In 1996, Carey signed as a free agent quarterback with the NFL's Cincinnati Bengals. From there, he moved on to the NFL-sponsored World League, where he spent a season as quarterback of the London Monarchs. In 1997, Carey signed with the Washington Redskins as a running back, switching his position to safety in 1998 for the World League's Ryan Fire and winning the World Bowl championship. That same year, Kerry made the roster of the Seattle Seahawks, where he played four seasons as a safety. Joseph at the 17, has the seam up the middle. Joseph cuts to the outside, one more man to beat. And the only one back to And Louis Aguilar saved the touchdown. Following his stint with the Seahawks, Kerry left professional football and was coaching football at St. Thomas More Catholic High School in Lafayette, Louisiana, when he was rediscovered by Ottawa Renegades GM Eric Tillman and brought into training camp as a quarterback. Kerry's three seasons in Ottawa were very successful as he racked up 10,922 passing yards, 57 passing touchdowns, 2,040 rushing yards, and 19 rushing TDs. In 2006, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders selected Kerry first overall in the Ottawa Renegades Dispersal Draft. That season, the Green and White went 9-9, nine nine, losing to the BC Lions in the Western Final. Joseph in the 2007 was a magical season for Kerry and the Riders. They had a 12-6 record, hosted a home playoff game, won the Western Final, and defeated Winnipeg to bring the Grey Cup home to Saskatchewan. Woo! Well, a big win for us. To speechless right now, man. We fought so hard. It was a tough game. But we battled and we battled and thank the crowd, the fans, for this wonderful game. What does this mean to you and the people of Saskatchewan? We champs, babes. We are the champs. Second and seven. Carey finished that season by completing 267 of 459 pass attempts for 4,002 passing yards and 24 touchdowns, throwing only eight interceptions and achieving a pass efficiency rating of 97.1. The five-year CFL veteran rushed for 737 yards and 13 touchdowns that season, the second most rushing TDs by a quarterback in CFL history. Kerry capped off 2007 by becoming the first rider to win the CFL Most Outstanding Player Award since 1976 when Ron Lancaster took home the title. Before the start of the 2008 CFL season, Kerry was traded to the Toronto Argonauts, playing two seasons there before heading to the Edmonton Eskimos. In 2014, Kerry retired from the CFL to focus on coaching, including stints with the New Orleans Saints, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and coming full circle to coach at his alma mater, McNeese State University. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome to the Saskatchewan Rough Riders Plaza of Honor, Kerry Joseph. <laughs>